Holy guacamole, it's vlogging day 820. Well, my internet just died, so this is as good of a time as any to start talking to the camera. I have had a pseudo lazy Sunday, late start to the day, coffee along the way. It's all been, you know, good. Nice to meet you today, Pauline, of course. I don't know what's wrong with the internet here. One of the reasons that I need the internet is because I was gonna thank uh, somebody who just bought a Chateau block. We are this far, well, thank you for that random noise that you claim, it claims the internet is fixed. We'll see if it actually is when we refresh the page. Uh, we are this far into the Chateau. We have built the keep, the extra buildings, the tower, and the wall. And now we're just down to the moat. The moat, of course, is the biggest thing, the absolute biggest thing. So uh, we'll see how far into the moat we get. But this week is basically going to end up being the week of finishing the chateau, which is really exciting. I'm very excited to see how that turns out. Richard and Elise gave me some online options for finding throw rugs. I was thinking about going finding some in person maybe, but should be able to order uh, one that's actually, you know, fit to the size of my room. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna try and uh, put it underneath the old couch here and then we'll see if that means that I have to get a vacuum cleaner at some point or not probably does if I'm gonna be a responsible adult I also obviously need an iron because I didn't have an iron for my new shirt for the wedding I honestly felt like a little bit of a schlub uh, for the wedding hopefully nobody minded that I had an unironed new shirt it just happens sometimes I suppose but I had a really good time at the wedding yesterday really good time we went out and had some wine afterwards as well uh, which was really cool it was really nice just all around good times had by all at least by me, I had a good time. And now I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. So obviously we've got Chateau stuff to fulfill and hopefully the bed itself gets put in here today. So I think I'm gonna start actually trying to gather all the, the particular items. I haven't heard from them yet. I don't know when they're actually delivering and installing the bed for sure yet. So that kind of leaves me waiting to see what exactly, I'm kind of wanting to see how it fits in here with the couch before I commit to kind of anything. But I would like to, I really wanna get on top of this. I just wanna have this whole Chateau thing finished as quickly as I can. So we'll see what happens there. If you remember, one of the reasons that I was a little bit disappointed and originally I was not gonna go the route of, or route, 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 of having people help by uh, buying blocks for the Chateau was that I thought this was gonna be an experiment in trying to get like sponsorships, like people, maybe local businesses or uh, bigger ones to help actually fit the room out. And the one thing that I've kind of stuck to with that is the mattress for the bed. I kept asking various companies around if they'd be interested in partnering. And so far everybody's either not responded or been very nice in saying no, uh, the timing's just not right. So I might have to end up buying a mattress here as well. Not a huge deal. I still have the old mattresses from the old beds that I can throw up there uh, temporarily. So it's not, I'm not in a rush. I'm just a little bit disappointed that that's not coming together a little bit more quickly. So I don't know. And that, that was kind of a disappointment because I'm not trying to, one of the things in vlog uh, one of the things that I'm open to, we've talked about this before, it was a little bit uncomfortable when I got my first sponsorship. I got a watch uh, from a company and they just wanted an Instagram post and then I managed to leverage my way into a second watch by saying, well, I'll do like an unboxing on my YouTube channel. And that was cool, but I, I wanted to make sure that, that my audience was okay with it, like that they were aware that it was a sponsorship and that that wasn't gonna ruin the integrity of my vlog. And I think there's a good way to find uh, sponsorships that overlap, that work very well with me, uh, whether they're partnerships with companies that that actually do really cool things that I'm into, or they can help me out with problems or needs that I have, or if it's just something that I think that the uh, average viewer of my vlog would find interesting. And so there's a good combination of those things that we could walk into, and I'm getting a few of those opportunities here and there, but I'm also just not interested. I've, got, I've had a couple more companies offer me watches, and I really don't need a, a flood of, I don't want to turn my vlog into like a watch unboxing series. So all that to say, it was a little bit disappointing that I couldn't get anybody to jump on this. I'm still gonna reach out to one of the lighting companies about maybe partnering with when we go for the lighting and I'm gonna to talk to Pushan about that a little bit more when we discuss how we're gonna do that in here. But I've pretty much given up on that front because on the one hand, it's like, well, it's just, I'm not, I'm not interesting enough perhaps to the average sponsor or it's just the wrong time of the year or whatever. The other side is, and the reason that I'm not that interested in sponsorships is because I don't want to start opening too many doors to influencing the content of my vlog. I'm open to including new things, like I said, doing new experiences, things that I think fit very well with who I am, what I'm talking about, what I'm doing, what you'd be interested in. But I'm also really skeptical and a little bit leery of opening too many doors too quickly. And uh, not that I have that many opportunities right now, but I've just been thinking through that a lot as well. Just for the future and also for this like i was like yeah the bed would be one good thing for sure like getting getting a mattress I'd, I'd love to get a mattress for free in exchange for you know unboxing it and sharing the whole thing on my vlog i think that could be cool but uh outside of that like yeah i don't know i don't know 
I just don't want to, I don't want to run the risk of even getting close to the line of selling out. I'd rather try to keep my experiences as unbiased as possible, which means either paying for things outright or figuring out a way to do it that, uh, that keeps it possible to be, you know, just as, as open and honest as possible. So that's, that's kind of what I've been thinking about there. And so thanks to the people that have actually jumped in and helped to build us this far into the Chateau situation as well, because I mean, I was, I, I didn't, I, I struggled to open the door to this option uh, because I did want to experiment. I wanted to try and get some sponsorships, but also because, um, you know, struggle to accept the generosity of others to some degree. So thank you so much for jumping in and doing this. I've had a lot of fun actually over on Kofi thinking every time I thank somebody doing something nice for the peasants who are building this castle in their honor. So I'm, I come across as quite the, uh, totalitarian nightmare, but it's still been a lot of fun. So thank you though. Despite the, you know, the bread crusts and the, the singing and whatever else is going on in the peasant camps at night. Thank you so much for being a part of that. Cause it's been, it's been really, really cool to see. And it's definitely lightened the load of the burden of, of, of finishing things off in here, which is a huge help, believe it or not. If you can't tell my voice is struggling. And so I'm probably going to keep this one short today because ow, that said, the other danger that I'm running into that I talked about the other day is that I still need to do the audiobook for couriers off grid. So if you're one of the, there aren't a lot of people that ordered the audiobook, but if you're one of the people who ordered the audiobook or waiting for the audiobook, I'm probably gonna have to send out a little bit of a whoopsie um, here soon to say that it's gonna be later than expected. I was hoping to have it done this month. Um, if my voice recovers, I'm gaining the motivation to get on top of it. It's gonna take a lot of work, but I wanna get it done. But it's, it might be late. So just throwing that out there. Just, just forewarning you. But that's okay. We're gonna be able to, we're gonna, we'll get on top of that. We're gonna get the room put together. This is gonna be looking snazzy in no time. And I'm thinking about doing a meetup this week. Let me look at my calendar to see if that's a wise decision. Yeah, I think that that should work. So if you'd like to do, let's let's do, keep your eyes open. I'm gonna post on Twitter exactly what the details are. But assuming that I start to feel a little bit healthier in the next couple of days, uh, we could try to do a meetup maybe on Friday or Saturday this week. And we'll just play it by ear. I feel like I'm missing things from my calendar. So I don't wanna to commit to that now. But for those of you who are gonna be around and who have been asking, uh, hopefully this weekend we can do a meetup. And I think that would be fun. I think that's basically all I'm gonna go into today. Anything else? It sounds like Kate has started sending out postcards. At least she's got all of them addressed. I have to go through and do this many still on my portion, uh, but I have done this many as well. So we're gonna get these mailed out here shortly. And I think I'm gonna work on this a little bit this afternoon, but I'm not feeling very good. So I might just uh, hold off on this until tomorrow. This is easy though. I'll probably work on this a little bit. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I just need, I need to rest. I need to rest. So I'm gonna end this here. Sorry for the super simple video. If that's not what you're into today, come back tomorrow. I'm sure there'll be some delightful music in tomorrow's video and I'll see you then and you know, it'll be great. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be glorious.